she still hasn't gotten through unscathed at all. She's being subpoenaed, subpoenaed by Congress. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Well, we begin tonight, comply or be held in contempt. That is the threat by the U.S. House Judiciary Committee in a letter to Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer, and for Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. This letter comes as Republican committee members claim Willis has failed to send documents subpoenaed as they investigate allegations that she mishandled government funds. Fox News' Eric Perry is live outside the Fulton County Courthouse with the latest tonight. Eric? Yeah, Courtney Russ, this is also coming as we await a decision by Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee on if Willis will stay on the Fulton County, Georgia. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Family. Young boy got me questioning my own sleeves right now. Let me check my sleeves and make sure my junk is sufficiently down. Hold on one second. Let me check my sleeves. Homie got me checking my own sleeves. Yeah, my sleeves are sufficient. Got me pulling my sleeves down. Did you see them sleeves? Where did he get that from? His little sister? <laughs> Before we get to Fanny, I'm just saying, homie got me checking my, my sleeves, my collars, everything. Jesus Christ. Where did he get that from? Hold on, hold on. Let me get back to the show. Got me checking my sleeves out here in these joint. Hold on, let me go back to him. I ain't hear a word he said because that shirt was like, "Ee, help me! What is wrong with this man's sleeves?" Yeah, Courtney Russ, this is also coming. Oh, hell no! Hell no! <laughs> he <gotta> be your <laughs> <laughs> Our street said he got that from Baby Gap. Jesus, is that how we? Is that the new style? Is that is the the extra medium? Is that the new style to get with an extra medium? Oh man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Timeout said he might be zesty. So no, listen. Just because you zesty don't mean that your sleeves are supposed to be small. Where did he get that shirt from? And why you ain't got no undershirt on under that, big dog? Man, you got you got to have your wife beater on up under that, man. Can't have no extra medium with the baby gap on. Jesus, or he might have got it at a time where he was. No, nah, no, nah, them sleeves ain't never been long enough. <laughs> Ah, hold on. We supposed to be talking about Congress subpoena and Fannie Willis. Let's get back to the core core issue. What is wrong with these sleeves, bro? As we await a decision by Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee on if Willis will stay on the Fulton County, Georgia interference election case there. So this is a different investigation out of Washington as this committee is looking into allegations that she mishandled federal funds. All options are on the table, but we'll, uh, I expect her to comply. U.S. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan says Fulton County Lead Prosecutor Fonnie Willis has one last chance to submit documents requested or further action will be taken. The committee is looking into allegations of misuse of federal money during the Georgia election interference case investigation. On all the communications, we got very little from her uh, when we sent the subpoena, so we want the communications both yeah. internal. Sleeves is off. Colonel, and any communications you may have had with the federal government, particularly the Justice Department, regarding this, these these grant dollars. In a three-page letter sent Thursday, the committee acknowledges the DA's office in what they call a narrow set of documents, but they say it's not enough. A whistleblower has come forward and says she's not just got this ridiculous lawsuit going, but it looks like she also mismanaged, mishandled, misspent. Uh, uh, alleged, uh, mis allegedly misspent federal grant dollars. Jordan claims Willis fired the whistleblower when they tried to stop the DA's office from using the federal money for other purposes like travel, computers, and swag. The DA denies those claims. The letter gives Willis in her office until noon on March 28th to comply. Any and all communications with 
March 28th. Let's see, it's March 15th. They got two weeks, less than two weeks. She already didn't respond. She already neglected to send over the documentation that breaks down exactly how they spending the monies, the taxpayer monies. You got two weeks, funny. And I'm gonna be watching. I'm watching. I got a, I got my hawk eye on. They giving her an additional two weeks to comply. Send over the documentation that shows how you've been spending the money. Or else Congress got to get involved now. With the, with the Department of Justice relative to the grant, the application and receipt of the money, and then maybe more, more importantly, internal communications at the Fulton County District Attorney's Office on how they were going to spend that money. I asked Jordan if this move is politically motivated. I say Fonnie Willis's uh, attack on President Trump is politically motivated. I mean, this this is a ridiculous action in and of itself. But our focus as as uh, in, in Congress is to do oversight of the use of federal <laughs> funds, particularly funds that are Brother being, uh, that are coming from the Department of Justice. Yeah, and back out here live, we have reached out to the district attorney for comment. We're waiting to hear back. They did comment earlier, though, on the termination of that whistleblower. They say they have just cause for that. We are two weeks away. From no, no, no. His collar's drunk. His shirt is messed up. And he ironed that, too. This is crazy. Let's go to a different source because I'm not able to focus. This shirt is throwing me off, bro. Tonight, 811, Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis is facing a looming deadline. House Republicans in Washington are threatening to hold her in contempt of Congress if she does not produce documents relating to her office's spending of federal funds by March 28th. 11 Alive's Karis Belger joining us now in studio with some insight here from legal experts. So, Karis, what does this all mean? Well, this stems from a whistleblower complaint alleging Fonnie Willis misused federal funds. The attorneys I spoke with say lawmakers can investigate but they will have to be sure they're not overstepping their authority. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is facing a new deadline in the ongoing investigation into her office's use of federal funds. The federal government has a right to ensure that federal dollars aren't being misspent or misappropriated, and that's either for personal use or even diverted into another program. U.S. House Judiciary Chair Representative Jim Jordan issued this letter Thursday, saying Willis's compliance with a previous subpoena was deficient, and her office has until March 28th to produce documents proving her office did not mishandle federal money. For example, the money was given to prosecute uh, drug crimes that is not being used to prosecute uh, even homicides, for example, that'd be a misuse of the federal funding. Willis's office was originally subpoenaed for the documents in February after House Republicans began investigating if Willis used federal funds during her investigation into former President Donald Trump. Former DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James says the outcome should not have any impact on Willis's case against the former president. But it could be, you know, practically disruptive. Um, because, you know, if, if he follows through on the threat and if there is a contempt, there's going to be a hearing. The allegations were made by a former employee in Willis's office. In the past, Willis has called the allegations false and said, quote, the courts have ruled, found no merit to these claims. Lawyers get involved, um, potentially even the Department of Justice gets involved, and so it would be a distraction and it could be disruptive ultimately. So uh, she has until the 28th of this month to comply, to send over all of the documents that basically substantiates that she hasn't been misusing the funds, uh, the federal funds that's been allocated to her to do a certain thing and she's doing otherwise. But I'm starting to think that she a Teflon. Whoever it is that she got in her corner, whoever rocking out with Fawny Willis, she just seemed like she protected.